everyone, this is Allison Price from The Infused Life with simple, holistic tips for living a healthier life. And so today I want to show you, because I'm making them for a special occasion, I wanna show you how you can make your own bath bombs. You will save tons of money doing it this way and you'll know that you're keeping the ingredients clean. So super simple, this is the mixture. And all it is is baking soda, cornstarch, fractionated coconut oil and citric acid and then I sent them with essential oils the ones that I added in here today were eucalyptus lavender and a little bit of spearmint and then the um, the specks that you see in there are peppermint leaves so all I did for that was buy pure peppermint tea bags um, I actually got them in bulk at a bulk store so like this and I just ripped open the tea bags and poured the peppermint leaves in there so what you do is you mix that all together and then you get it to a consistency that's like wet sand. And once you have it the right consistency, if, it, if you end up thinking that it feels too wet to the point where it's not sticking together, add more baking soda. And if you need it to be a little bit more damp, like wet sand, just add a little bit more coconut oil. And you may find as you go that as you're you know, doing a couple molds, you might need to add a little bit more coconut oil here and there. It's important that it is fractionated coconut oil. I can't reach mine. So you want fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated just means that there's been a triglyceride removed out of its chemical makeup so that it always stays in a liquid state. You don't want the coconut oil that's gonna harden. Not that it would even be a bad thing, I don't think, for bath bombs, but it would be difficult to work with because you'd have to get it taken care of before it starts to harden up. So, um, once you mix all that together, then you take your mold and you make your bath bombs. There's tons of different molds. There's molds specifically for bath bombs. A lot of them are two half spheres that you then put together and you can do all kinds of fun stuff like color this. Um, coloring you have to be careful of because if you want to keep it holistic, if you want to keep it organic, healthy, you don't want to be using Red Dye 40. Who wants to bathe in Red Dye 40 anyways? But there's tons of natural food colorings out there that you can get. Um, beetroot powder would be a great one to use if you're trying to get a red or a pink. But let me just show you. So all I do, I have a silicone mold that I just bought from a kitchen store and I take my spoon and I just pack it in there. Honestly, you know what this is like? It's like building sandcastles at the beach. So if you've ever done that in your lifetime, this is pretty much exactly what it's like and that's the consistency that you're going for. So I just pack it in there really good and then I actually like to press down with my thumbs just to get out any extra air that's in there so that it's packed in. And then what I do is I lay them out on a baking sheet that's covered in parchment paper and let them dry. You want to give them a good at least 24 hours to dry before you package them up if that's what you're doing with them. I'm going to be wrapping these in tissue paper and then putting them in little baggies. And of course, now that I'm filming this, this one doesn't want to come out. There we go. And so it's literally like building a sandcastle. So these are ones that I've just done. And let me show you. This is an example of one that's been drying for 24 hours. You are going to get a little bit of flaking and peeling. Um, you know, that's just, that's going to happen. But for the most part, these have all been done and they're secure. So then what you do is when you take a bath, you dump it in the bath, it will fizz. You will get all of the benefits of taking a bath with baking soda, which is a great natural detoxer for your system. And then the essential oils that you choose to use as well. And if you don't do baths, these work just as well as a shower disc. So you can set one inside the shower when you take a shower. It's still gonna disintegrate, it may fizz a little, and you're still gonna get the amazing aroma that you've scented your bath bombs with with your essential oils. So there is my DIY for today. Natural, simple, easy, holistic way to make yourself bath bombs.